So here we are. Welcome, Matt. Um, Hello, mate. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. And Hello, everyone else. Um, you can see I've had my hair cut, especially for the occasion. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Actually, um, I was. Uh, we were once on the uh, on the uh, road of the band Cast. You know, Cast, the Liverpool band, and uh, the, um, the drummer Keith. We well, I think it was Germany or something. I'm touring Germany. The drummer Keith came up to me, mate in broadest Scouse accent. I didn't know that he was a really nice guy. They're all nice guys. I didn't know he was nice guy. He came up to me, hey Matt, why do you always wear a hat? And like sort of a little bit, well, uh, I, 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 um, well, I was born, I was uh, kind of uh, about 22. And he, he looked at me dead in the eyes and went, doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Keith is right. And uh, so, so yeah, um, I'm really looking forward to doing this uh, opening. It's, I feel that quite privileged that um, just my life's work is like suddenly like around me, around this table, just kind of like neatly boxed together. So uh, well, we've got a, lo a lovely sort of uh, like a time capsule document of your musical career in front of you right here. So if it feels like, like I'm sort of like Matthew Kelly on like a game show. Open that box, Matt. <laughs> I've, got, I've got a knife here. I, I'm literally going to open it live. Uh, it is a huge box. Um, I will lift it up so everyone can see. Uh, um. Wow. How much packaging? Well... You've got it's to keep it past the parcel. This got to keep it secure, haven't you? Yeah. Uh, well, I'm going to get the knife out again. This is where I impale myself, like <laughs> live. <laughs> we'll have to get you have to get one of the others. Have <laughs> well, you got no fingers left? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. Oh. Wow. Now that is very handsome and very heavy, actually. Um, yeah, so thick. Wow, that's incredible. It's uh, so. Uh, shall, shall I uh, uh, open it? It'll have Go a print inside. Go for it, mate. It um... reminds me um, that when I signed the print, I put a kiss on on the, one of the. There was a thousand we did, isn't there? And I put a kiss on it, and I did. Pro I don't know if you remember. And I promised whoever got that one, the print with the kiss on it, unless you kept that one for yourself. Yeah, I've, I've got it on the wall behind me. <laughs> <laughs> whoever, gets yeah. that, whoever gets the print, wow, this is, this is looking great. Um, whoever gets the print with the kiss on it gets a bottle of claret, as long as it's not in America or, or something like that. Uh, well, it, um, it's not actually me. <laughs> that, that would have been brilliant if, if that would But... Um, just uh, someone can contact me via Twitter if uh, if they do get the um, if they do get the one print with the kiss after my signature. So uh, just just let me know about that. That's quite interesting to me. Cool. But, um, so yeah, signed print, all four members. And the and the sleeve, Matt. Obviously, we we agonised over the sleeve for, for for a very long time, didn't we? Uh, we did, yeah. And you know, <laughs> of course, we had to get. Well, you had to get loads of clearance for like usage of things, you know. I mean, uh, I I forgot how much sort of work has to go into these things uh, that, are, that people are just having to. Well, you know, yourself and uh, and others just having to like go through every, the minutiae of it and uh, just you know ask the various permissions. You know, have to be asked again, even though they've been used before with with gene products. You know, they. You can't, you know, you have to like get permission again to use them again in this, this slightly different context. So, you know, for everyone out there, it's an incredible amount of work, sort of clearing everything. And uh, it is, it is amazing, actually. Um, so this, that's the uh, booklet. Nice pictures. Clearly the most handsome one on the end of the hat. <laughs> um, oh, I look about 10 in, in that drumming picture. I look like a meerkat, like sort of like. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, booklet and 
all the albums. Shall I, um, shall yeah. I open one up? Yeah, go for it. So Olympian here on white vinyl. That uh, looks very good. Yeah, plus we've got the original booklet in there as well. So replicated from the... The original booklet there? Yeah. So I, don't, I don't remember that being with the original, that sort of... Logo. No, that was, that's a newly, newly New designed thing. piece. Uh, yeah, so the Kevin Westenberg shots there. Um, I do like that shot of me there, actually. It makes me look much better than I really am. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that, that, that live shot is probably the, the best Gene live shot ever, I think. I think Steve's got a poster of this uh, on his wall somewhere. Well, he definitely has, I've seen it. Um, a lot of these, I think that gig was the LA2 gig we did. Um, it's the one where Adam Ant came backstage and... Uh, name, name dropper. <laughs> yeah, uh, that, was, that was the first time I ever felt like a pop star because Adam Ant and Marco Peroni turned up in our dressing room and we were just, you know, uh, just on our way up as a band and uh, it, it felt incredible having followed them um, as a kid, you know. Um, to see the lights as well? Yep. Wow. So it's actually quite difficult to get to include to see the lights, wasn't it? The, the permission that I'm talking about. Um, yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm not yeah. We, won't, mm. we don't need to go through all that, you know. <laughs> Just give it, we don't need to. Oh, wow. So, yeah. like, very apt colour, right, I think. Lovely gold. Yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah, beautifully, um, the design work on this, uh, Mike's story, has done a lovely job kind of replicating everything. Um, and uh, expertly assembled by uh, Emma and our team as well. No, it looks great. So, oh, so with the gatefold of Drawn to the Deep End, um, original. That's great. After, I often think about this guy on the front. Did you ever meet this guy or, or, or introduce to him? Or? I think we did, yeah. I, I think he was in videos as well. I think he was like, I think we did. Um, excuse my memory. I can't quite actually remember when we did, but I'm pretty sure someone was like, you idiot, you made him loads of times. Um, <laughs> So yeah, it obviously brings us back to the time we did the Albert Hall. That's probably my proudest Gene moment, like walking. I think, I think this Revelations cover is the only one. I'm not a massive fan of the cover. I mean, it was. Just, I think we were like we, we we struggled and we were on tour a lot, and Polydor just kind of got us to do something very last minute for this. And uh, I think it's just early days of Photoshop, you know, it's like, a, you know, I think our artwork generally was um, pretty good. Martin, especially in the early days, Martin, like, um, he sourced, uh, he put a lot of work into the sourcing of, um, yeah. and, uh, of, of cover art and, and getting it right. So I like, I like the uh, Pat Pope shots. I was going to say, the, the photos are beautiful, aren't they? Of, um, photos are great. Really, really well yeah, done. It's I mean, just a the photos themselves would have been great of us there, but it's just the sort of, we're struggling for a cover, I think. Although I do love the album. Um, you know, it was an album we recorded at Rockfield. And uh, I don't know, did you see that, see that documentary on Rockfield recently? Yeah. I, yeah. that was, <laughs> yeah, that brought back a lot of, lot of memories. Um, and then a return to form with the uh, Libertine cover. And uh, I have to say, this is my favorite uh, color vinyl, this one. Look at, look at, look at the beautiful that is. Oh, wow. No, that looks fantastic. That really does. Wow. It's quite overwhelming, really. It's uh, just, just. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, so. So, I, yeah, I, I feel, well, it's great that I don't have to. I, I, just, I think um, for, you know, the amount of things you're getting here, I don't, I don't think the, I don't think the, the price is uh, too astronomical, really. I mean, it's like, I just love box sets. So I remember, I remember when we signed to um, Polydor, um, and they were, I remember like, sort of knocking on the A&R man's door, uh, Paul Adam, and uh, sort of saying, I think you've got a uh, Who box set. And, uh, and uh, that was the first box set I ever had. I'd never afforded them before, I don't think. But and then I remember they sent me like loads of box sets, that, and I, especially that, that Who box set that I got. I, I just absolutely loved it. I still sort of like look at it in, in the record collection and just think, wow. Because you know, there were sort of so many rarities and things. And, and, uh, and it's, just, it's just nice to have everything in one place, isn't it, really? And then obviously we've got the lovely, the, the slightly... Yeah. Uh, oh yes, I've, um, I've conveniently got the uh, smaller... How many CDs are there in this? We have nine CDs. So, oh, CDs. Yeah. and the, the, the rationale for this was very much, obviously we're moving into this digital age now, but there's still a lot of people who are interested in buying CDs. And really it was, it was about bringing together the, the reissues from that we did together in 2014 into a lovely little set, really, I guess a nice, a nice shelf sized set that you could, uh, uh yeah, definitely enjoy again and again. Yeah. So yeah, the, the extras, all the B-sides and the, all the extras, so it's, it's great to have those yeah. extras in there. I think the, I mean, obviously we've got, we've obviously got uh, to see the lights in here, but I think the, the amount of B-sides, etc., sort of probably made the box that you'd have to, we'd have to make another vinyl box set of B-sides, I think, one day, um, because of so, there's so many to include, isn't there? So. Then we could have a game of top trumps here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah what have you got yeah i've got one as well yeah. <laughs> and i love um, keith cameron's sleeve notes um they, they made me a bit teary actually when i first read them I, uh, he sort of describes the moment um just when we were finishing the olympian album and uh that kind of was the moment where it was all ahead of us and it, it felt such an exciting time i remember and uh, it was it was it was like the, the, the perfect gene moment I think just like finishing that um, that first album, and I think we were going off to headline the forum in Kentish Town for the first time, and uh, I mean the studio made us a a cake with the forum on it, and it, and uh, Keith uh, having been involved with us right at the beginning putting early singles out just came down to the studio and sort of celebrated with us, and uh, it was. Absolutely incredible moment, I think. And uh, yeah, his sleeve notes are, are very touching and uh, very informed as well. So, um, so what else have I got here? What else have you got? Well, we've got we've got we've got one more, two more goodies left. So we've got this rather rather attractive <laughs> best of the best of. <laughs> oh, best of, yeah. I was going for something else. Ta -da. Is groovy, which is uh, so this is your this is your track listing, Matt. Um, your your best of Gene, yeah. I wonder, um, I wonder if people um will agree with the uh track listing, really. But I mean, people are never gonna go, What is what that one on there? But, um, I think Save Me on Yours is probably a contender for a best of, you know, but um, it's uh, it's it's not on this, <laughs> but as obviously you can get it on uh, various other things. But um, yeah, I think I think the track listing works. I mean, it's the singles and plus a few more, you know, of our favourite songs. Songs like "Oh Lover" from um, Liberty and never, never, never an amazing live song "Oh Lover," but it was uh, one of our best songs, I think. Um, in certainly on the later period, um, um, same as Summer in the World. Well, that did work live as the when we played it. Um, but yeah. yeah, on the on this rather nifty uh, 180 gram blue vinyl as well. Lovely stuff. Sorry, I was supposed to get that out as well. 
<laughs> yeah, sorry. I mean, you work for this. I'll yeah. leave so these are like in, in, inner sleeves are very good. There's various stuff. I think as myself gave you these and did Kev give you some as well? Or, yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah. Great colored vinyl. Um, and again, and yeah, some... I think these are my backstage passes, aren't they? Um, <laughs> they, they seem to have made me into um, Father Christmas here. <laughs> I think, I don't know whether the others all got the, the, the one of myself. <laughs> I, I look like C6 Steve. <laughs> um, yeah. And obviously, um, I, I didn't mention earlier, the, uh, obviously the images on the front are all from Kevin Cummins' shoot. So yes. same, same shoot, different, different snaps, but obviously. Did Kevin do that for the NME? I think it was an NME sh shoot, wasn't it? And then, but these are sort of shots that didn't make it into the article. Was, was that right? Did he did he say where it was from? I'm not or? sure actually. I'm not sure. I know I, I know from the date it they're from '94. The images are, but I'm not sure what the context was. I do remember. I do remember him pouring. Um, like water uh, on the glass to try and get the sort of steamed up look. And, uh, and uh, I, I completely forgotten about, it. I mean, you must have done so many purchases. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> and it was a uh, fair play to you and um, Kevin for, uh, for, you know, going to the effort of finding something original that's not, not been seen. You know? um, so what I've got, what else I've got here? You've got one left. Yeah. Lovely stuff. And this one, so obviously all the releases are out on the, as discussed, 21st of August. This yeah. one, Record Store Day release, uh, is out on the, check my facts. Uh, Christ, when is it out? <laughs> I've, had a, I've had a brain melt. I'll, I'll, write, I'll write at the bottom when this is out, once, <laughs> once I can remember. But this is out, uh, yeah, for Record Store Day. First time on vinyl. It's all been delayed, isn't it? Because of... Yeah. Well, well it should have been out, been out in, uh, in April. But, yeah, I think this is coming out in August now. Um, obviously, yeah, first time on vinyl, this one, Matt. So, um, and yeah. what I like about this, if you can see it, on LP2, it's three-sided vinyl. So on the fourth side, you get a lovely cool uh, etching of, of the band logo. You see that? Uh, yeah, yeah. Something different? You can just about see that. Catch it in the light, haven't you? So. Um, no, that's brilliant. Thank you for that. Much appreciated. Thank you for your time. Uh, thank you, mate. And um, thanks for buying it, everyone, as well.